Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show something fun. Imagine I have a list of checkboxes and for each checkbox I have a label and the label is connected to a checkbox using labels for attribute where the for attribute value is the ID of a checkbox. Some of the checkboxes are checked. For example, I do love apples. I'm not a big fan of peaches. I do like grapes, but I really don't eat a lot of mango. Here's the test I want to write. I want to find all the check checkboxes, right? Which is like two checkboxes. And for each checkbox, I want to find the label that describes it and confirm the text of the checked labels. How do I do that? Well, we cannot directly select the labels because we don't know the value of a checkbox. So probably what we should do is find all the checkboxes first. Now we can try writing something like this. We'll say input type checkbox and this will give us all four checkboxes but it's hard to add multiple parameters here right so if I say checked then it complains the easiest way I kind of know about doing this is to filter using sci filter command and then use the jQuery selector checked so we have four checkboxes and then only two are checked the one other suggestion I might add here is that, you know, check how many you have at each step so that if the uh, application is still re-rendering, right, that you are waiting for the right thing to be uh, on the page before you uh, run the next command. Okay, so we got two checkboxes. Now for each one, we probably need to get the ID. So we have to do something for each checkbox. So We'll use Cypress each command. We get the checkbox jQuery element, which is individual checkbox, and its ID is checkbox uh, attribute ID, which is a jQuery method. And for each ID, we need to get the checkbox with that ID. So we can say sci get label with a value four, and I have to switch to template literal for this and say ID, and I probably need to quote it just to be safe. Okay, so we get label for apples and for grapes, which are corresponding to the checkboxes we have checked. And now we just have to get the text from this element and save it somewhere so we can confirm it. So we need an array of labels and array is not gonna change, we'll just push new items. To that array. So we get this from this label from the page. That means we have to use that then callback. And let's just invoke text. And then we have a string and we'll say labels push that string. Now we invoke text twice. We get it. Now we just have to confirm the value of the labels array. So there are two ways of going about it. One is we say, okay, after you're done with all your commands to query the checkboxes, to you know get the label, invoke the text, and then put it in array, then we have the labels field. So we expect labels to keep equal, because whenever you compare an object or an array, you have to use keep equal, and the values will be I love apple string, I love grape string. So that's one way of doing this. Another way is to say, okay, I will know the labels array right away. I don't know the values, but the reference to the array stays constant, so I can wrap it directly. And I don't have to do anything with that array, but then it should be equal right, to, to this value. And the cool thing about this syntax is that once I fix it, right, here's what happens. Cypress executes all these commands before it executes cyprap. That should. So by the time it executes and says, okay, now I have to compare whatever I have in this wrapped array to this value, by that time, all the previous commands are already finished, the array is filled, and now we can turn to the values. So this is how we go about a complex querying where we get some elements from the page, get some other elements, fill results, and save it in one array or an object, whatever you need. 
and then compare the value of an array or an object with what 